9B. Uh, this is a resolution of the City of Margate, Florida, providing for salary cost of living increases for city commissioners at the same percentage cost of living increases as provided to senior management employees. Uh, providing an effective date, this resolution is before you for your consideration this evening. What's the wish of the commission? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Comments by the commission? Commissioner Pierman. Yeah, uh, this is obscene. That's a, that's a good word for it. In 2000, before 2011, the commission tied their raises in with the unions. So every time the union got a raise, the commission would get a raise. Now, in 2011, we got rid of that. We've gone from 2011 to 2018 without it. Mm -hmm. And now you want to tie your raises into basically the people that you're holding up having raises while you wait for the city manager to give you his evaluation of those people and no one is evaluating you when you get your raise. Okay. It's, it's obscene. And I have a question for the city attorney. Yes. Um, when the uh, ballot question passes in 2020 to give the residents the right to vote on commission raises, will it trump this resolution that is more than likely going to pass tonight? It's the, a charter question. It'll be a charter question. If, if there's a charter question on the ballot in 2020, I have not seen the language, but it's my understanding that it won't apply retroactively. No, it, it'll be starting in it'll 2020 after it passes. Correct. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure. Vice Mayor? Yeah. Um, there are 589 people who draw a check from the city of Margate. 584 of them, once the final contract we are negotiating is ratified and senior staff reviews are shared, they will receive a 2% cost of living increase. Cost of living increase, not a raise. Cost of living increase. Uh, well, I, I, th I, th I thought I was speaking. I let you speak. All right, so that would leave five people, five people out of 589 who would not get a COLA increase. Those five people happen to be the people up here. I apologize uh, to all the people who believe that 99.151% of the people who work for the citizens should receive a COLA and that the 0.8149% of the people who work for the citizens should be excluded from the same exact COLA for the same exact amount of a percentage. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. I believe if 99.151% of the people should get it because they draw a check from the city, and it's a COLA, I don't have a problem with 0.849% also getting it. I think it's, um, I don't believe it's obscene. I think it's obscene to believe that 99% plus can get it, but, you, but you're against the other less than 1% getting it. I think that's obscene. Thank you. Commissioner Simone. Thank you. The commission just got a 12% salary increase. It was my opinion, two years ago. In my opinion, this is pure greed. Okay. And this is a public service job. And if you were doing it for the money, then maybe you shouldn't run. Hang on a minute. Oh, I can't hang, hear. Hang on a minute, because I can't hear you. I, I... We can... we're go ahead. If you need go a few ahead. minutes, we'll take no, a no. break. We're, we're okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Then maybe people should not run to become a commissioner. Um, this is, this is craziness. In my opinion, this is just milking the public and putting money in your own pockets. And there is no need to do this. It is a, again, it is a public service job. You do it because you want to help the public, not because of money that you are going to get. So you should 
I don't know what you want to say. Commissioner Pierman. I believe there's a difference between an elected position and an a employed position with the city of Margate. Your bosses will not be able to give you an evaluation for four years. Whereas the senior staff, we gave them, uh, they were given an evaluation six some odd months ago or something like that. And again, you're holding up their, their COLA raises because you want to see their evaluations when it actually is the city manager's responsibility. Now you want to put your raise tied in where your residents won't be able to evaluate you for four years. That makes no sense at all. I think, first of all, the reason that senior management hasn't gotten their raises yet is not because we necessar I necessarily want to read their evaluation. I want to know one was done. And since six months ago, at that time, the new city manager put absolutely nothing down because he said he couldn't. I think you have to hold the people who get an average of $6,000 a year as a step increase, and I'm only talking senior management, and then a 2% on top cost of living increase, because the first 10 years in the step program is a guaranteed raise, I think they should be evaluated by their boss. I certainly was for every year, twice a year, that I worked for the school board of Broward County. I think that's important that someone look at and say, what are your goals? What have you been able to do since the year before? What do you have in mind to move the city forward? I think anybody in any job should be evaluated. I'm sure that every union has an evaluation. I knew the school system did, so I don't have a problem with that. But the fact is that every year, anyone who works for this city gets a raise tied to whatever unions get. That's fair, that's equitable. Now. Before I left in 2004, we, did, we were not tied to anything, and this came before the public each time, which I assume this would as well at budget time. I did ask the city clerk if he could quickly, and it was quickly, he didn't have time, tell me what the people around us did, because I didn't know. So I will read. North Lauderdale compensation for members of the city commission shall be adjusted at the time of the approval of the annual budget to be effective October 1st of each calendar year, the City Commission shall be entitled to a cost of living increase in the amount equal to that given to the City's general employees. Dania Beach, any COLA or other increase negotiated by collective bargaining agreement also applies to the Commissioners. Coconut Creek, compensation shall have... Commission shall have the power to periodically establish annual salaries for its members. Each commissioner shall receive automatic increase in salary effective the 1st of October each year based upon the Consumer Price Index, the U.S. Department of Labor, all urban consumer, and the, Fort My uh, the Miami Fort Lauderdale area. Um, and then it says they should not be decreased should the cost of living go down. I would like some I would like the city manager to finally explain the 12% that I didn't ask for that I don't think anybody here necessarily asked for so that finally once someone understands where that came from because the fact that he and I know it doesn't help the rest of the public so it needs to be explained why that particular figure came up Sam would you mind doing that so it's on the record the number came from the fact that the commission did not receive raises for a period of time since 2008 that, that other bargain for and non bargain for employees did receive there were some years in there that no one received raises and it was not accounted for for those years but for the years that they did receive raises there was an average of two percent that was added up to come up with a twelve percent that's not what was said it was that's one, exactly what it, it was told me. one I was sitting here. I believe with, it was two percent. It was one point five percent. Okay, well, one for every year since two thousand, and I believe eight or nine was the year that that the mayor came up with at the time. Not you, but the no. mayor that came up with it at the time. 
And, and, and the been, employees well, did certain, not get raises during those years. Can I retract just for a second? It was a it was a percentage, and I'm just one point five percent. So that it was, was a, it was still a it was percentage that was added up over a course of time, and the, the years that the employees did not receive raises, that percentage was not added into it. And for that exact percentage, I I was thought it was two percent, but it may not have been two percent. Uh, that like was added that. into years that the employees did not correct. get raises. Correct. So I'd like to correct my statement. Thank it was you. not two percent. It was it was a percentage. But it was equal to whenever anybody an employee got a raise and not in the years that they weren't. I no, you got had, it when the rate when the employees. No, that's not what he said. I think the employees might have actually received higher raises than Thank that. You. No, no, that's no. not what he's saying, Lee. He's saying if an employee didn't get it, then he didn't calculate colas. it. Yes, you did. Correct, colas. By a cola, Sam, not raises. are you saying yes when an employee? group did not get a raise the commission did or are you saying you totaled up those years that raises were given only we total up the years that the raises were given that is not true sam good i'm just saying what we came up with i'm not sure what you the you have was. said we've had this discussion and sam. there was only oh, a few so, there's oh, go ahead oh, we've had this discussion and i asked you did employees get raises during, I believe, 2008, 2009, or 2009, 2010, one of the two. And you said no. And I said, when you guys went back to 2008 for the 1.5, how did you get the 12% from 2008 forward? I'd so they would have gotten I mean 1.5 during the two years that the employees did not get raises. You're asking me something. I mean, I'm kind of five, caught off guard here because I don't, okay. you know, to have the numbers that I have here, I'm kind of caught off guard. Without okay, figure 12% divided by however many years it was. That's what I'm going to do. I think what that wound up to it was in the last was five years. One, you guys it was a 12%. All right, then you tell I don't know. I'm only push going. Button, push a button and tell us. Tell us. You're the one that did it. Push a button and share. It's okay. Because. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was in eight years that wasn't given, right. and it was at 1.5, and it was in lieu of the car allowance. That's how it was figured out. For eight but years. It was in lieu of So there were two years Correct. that the employees did not get raised. But it wasn't the same percentage as what he's saying, because employees got 25 and 3%, and over the five Correct. years that they got raises, they got 12%. Yes. Thank you. No, it was more than that. More than that, it whatever than that. it was. All right. So. My lights on. No, there's yes, your lights on. Okay, now let's let's remove a fallacy. From 2011 until 2016, at any point during the budget meetings, a commissioner could have asked for a raise. So the the commission was not denied raises. No one asked for it because in 2011. When that commission got rid of the obscene tied in with the union's raises, it was stated that it would be done at budget time. So for every year from 2011 to 2016, a commissioner could have asked for, but did not ask for a raise. That's a fact. Okay. So when you say, oh, they haven't had, they've got, haven't been allowed a raise for, no. No one said not allowed. They said they hadn't gotten well, There's a difference again, there. Nobody stopped anyone. And this, if this passes, will have to be discussed at budget time anyhow. Where does it say that? It's, that is actually in here. Let me pull Thank this you. up here. Did it have to be discussed at budget time? It's in the resolution. It says uh, the interpretation. And in the first, you want to explain that to them? Yeah, the, the, the charter provides that the commission may determine the annual salary Provide does so by ordinance or resolution effective coincident with and at the time of the adoption of the next city budget. This resolution is stating that the city commission interprets the phrase the next city budget to mean the annual adoption of the city budget or any subsequent amendment thereto. So it's simply so putting the, a date. So to the extent that this resolution passes, the city commission would still need to adopt an amended budget, a budget amendment at some point in time in order to 
uh, make I'm not this, reading that. Make this effect. The salaries of city commission shall be increased by the same percentage right. as the cost of living increase provided by the city commission for non-contract senior management employees of the city of Margate. The salary increase for the commission shall take effect right. for the full budget year in which increases are provided for senior management. Right. But the only way that it can can be implemented is yeah. pursuant to the language in the charter, which provides for either the adoption the adoption of the next uh, city budget, right. and that's either going to be when you adopt your budget during the uh, budget cycle right. um, in September, or when you adopt a budget amendment as interpreted by the city commission. So the, la the language is what it says, but they still need the commission will still need to actually adopt it as part of a budget amendment or as part of the budget next year. Commissioner Simone. Thank you. I kind of find it humorous that <clears throat> when we want something, we use other cities as comparison. When we don't want something, I'm he I hear that we are not like other cities, and we won't, don't want to be at other cities. You know, I'm looking at the, uh, from what I remember, it, looking at the last commission uh, compensation. And with benefits, the benefit package that commissioners get, it's upwards of $75,000 per commissioner. Not not everybody. I'm well, saying you need to be some, able to say that some of them. I don't. I don't. Uh, get I don't either. I don't. I don't take the health insurance, and I don't take a lot of the things that other commissioners um, put in for and take because I don't believe in it. But I don't believe that commissioners should get every year a two percent cola. And I'll state it again. This is a public service job. You do it because you want to help the residents. You do not do it because for the money. What's your definition of a cost of living increase? Is that not do people not get a cost of living increase as people on Social Security will this year because the cost of equal of equalizing what groceries cost last year has gone up? And this is supposed to equal, uh, equalize the amount that extra that you have to pay if you're on a fixed income or things like that. Is that not what a cost of living increase is? I'm just asking because clearly our is, there's no, no way I can clearly I am clearly under, I am under confidentiality to not say anything, so I'm not going to say anything. Okay, but if we're giving a cost of living increase to people who make a significant salary because the cost of goods and services have gone up and this is to equalize it, then, I, I, then that's a cost of living increase. Thank you for giving me instructions. I appreciate it. Any other members of the commission? Public. Oh, Resident Margate, we're mixed in a bag here, but I want to just try to smooth it out. Some of you are not going to like what I'm going to say. Back in the good old days when I used to sit on negotiations, I worked for a big airline. We had cost of living raise. And guess what? Everybody got the cost of living. It wasn't a separate deal from your salary, whether you made 100000 a year or 50000 a year. It didn't make any difference you still fell into that same category. It's called a COLA and cost of living raise. Like the mayor said, products go up, cost of living goes up, food goes up, meat goes up, et cetera, et cetera. That's the way it comes to blend. So, I mean, maybe I'm living in a little bit of the past, but the information is still in my brains where we call a cost of living raise a percentage, and that percentage is usually set by uh, the people that negotiate. Usually the union, the collective bargaining, they will set that. And then everybody goes, it's me too. I want it also. 
whether you're a commissioner and you refuse this and you all want to say, I don't want this cost of living raise, okay, that's probably what you can do if you want. However, to try to make my point, I may sound crazy up here, but cost of living raise is a cost of living raise. So if you're entitled to that, unless your sunshine law says commissioners do not get it, executives do not get it, I'll tell you something. Back in the day when I used to work for an airline, we had negotiations. We got our contract, and our contract was good. They say, we want the same thing that the union got. We want the same thing. We want the medical. We want everything else to be the same. That's just my saying on this. Uh, like I said, some of you may not like what I'm saying, but please. Well, I mean, don't phone from the mouth. It's okay. It's just a regular person up here that's talking from the good old days when we had unions and collective bargaining. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. I want to read to the public um, a piece of information. The city of Weston, which for those who don't know, is one of the wealthiest cities in the county. And they have a medium, a household income of about $93,000. Okay. City of Margate has a household income of 57,000. Western commissioners made $10,000, a third of what this commission makes. And I want to read that after eight years, they asked for a salary increase to a whopping $12,000. And the Western mayor, which I'm sure the cost of living there is really high, has said that he understood at the time he was elected he was chosen by the people to fight for the interests of the people, that that was the salary. And he agreed to it. Vice Mayor Caggiano has said, respectfully, that other individuals are receiving COLAs or cost of living um, assessments. I'm sure that the cost of living in Margate in general is much lesser than in Weston. And I'm sure that the other 594 people are employees. I said a few, and if you would please refrain from comments until I'm done. I have said about two months ago when this commission proposed to eliminate term limits that that was the most self-serving, self-aggrandizing thing you guys had ever voted for. But I stand corrected. This is the most self-serving, self-aggrandizing thing this commission votes for. It's not about the money. It's not about who gets what. You were chosen by the people to do a job. If that was the case, if money was a driver, no one would be a Florida state representative. They make $25,000 or $28,000 to spend six months in Tallahassee. So we sit here today fighting over a 2% cost of living for a part-time job, plus the car allowance, plus the benefits. We don't get a car allowance, so I need to correct that. No, no, not you. Uh, the, no one gets a car allowance. Well, you, are, you, you certainly have fought for it. And the mileage reimbursement and the cell phone. I don't get that either. I don't get a mileage reimbursement. Well, some do. Uh, we are not saying that employees don't deserve the 2% because we also need to talk about the fact that you are proposing an amendment so that now you are in charge of those department heads that you will tie your raises to talk about politicizing just basically everything in the city. Yeah. Well, if you, the department heads constitute fire chief and police chief, which you are asking the public to vote so that you all as a body can hire and fire them. I really urge the commission to consider your position of leadership. There's a reason why you all are not employees. You are voted by the people. It makes, uh, it takes a, a, a stronger position if you are willing to forego a meager, not an obscene, a meager 2% raise to show your commitment to the city. Thank you. Yank it down, person. <laughs> Um, 
really kind of stunned. Commissioners, when you got your increases, you got your raises. I didn't object to that. I really didn't. This I do object to. You are not an employee. You know, and to, to think that, you know, you deserve a 2% increase. You know, you, I, like I said before, I didn't object when you asked for and got an increase before. I was okay with that. I'm not okay with this. I mean, I truly think you're going over the cliff. Employees, yes, they, you, they get an increase. They deserve an increase. You are not an employee. You are a commissioner. You weren't hired by the city. You were elected by the residents of Margate. So to ask, you know, well, okay, I don't. I want term limits to go away. I want two percent uh, increase or whatever. I don't think that's. I don't really don't think that's right. If if you're looking to get a nice salary and you're a cola, get a job with the city. Be hired by the city, and you will get all of that. But as as a commissioner, I don't think you're entitled to it, and I don't think you deserve it. I'm sorry. Thank you. Vice Mayor. Oh, all right. Okay. Good evening. Um, I just want to ask something. When you, besides this 2% COLA that you are requesting, are you going to decide later on, well, we need another increase for a car or we need another increase for whatever else? If there are going to be any more salaries that maybe the employees are not getting, but because um, you are not, um, because you're, you have the power to give yourself raises. Is that going to be allowed or is just this 2% for the year? This is being asked for 2% for the year, but I need to correct something. Stop her time so she doesn't lose it. I need to correct something. When I was elected, I asked why, and this is exactly what happened, and I sat right there when I did it. I asked why employees who do not drive get a $3,600 car allowance. I asked them to do what I did for the school system, calculate the mileage, use the 53 and a half cents a mile, and get mileage when they drove. The former city manager had a real problem with that, and there were two employees specifically that got what I considered to be a step increase, a raise, and then $3,600. They drove nowhere for the city. No one asked for a raise. Nobody asked for a car allowance. That, in order to stop the questions I asked, was offered. The car allowance originally was offered. A car allowance was given back because nobody needed a car allowance. People are entitled by federal states, by IRS statute, that if they drive for the city, as I drove for the school board of Broward County, between job locations, they are entitled to mileage. Some people take it, some people don't. That is how the eventual idea of a raise came about, not because anybody asked for it, but because the former city manager didn't want to take back from people what they were getting, even though before 2016, these people didn't get car allowances. It was his parting gift to them. There are many people in this city who could pick up a car that sits out there all day long, as they did 15 years ago when I sat here, and use a pool car to drive around. I have tried to suggest that instead of people who are still on a four-day work week taking their cars home that the city pays for, that the city insures, that the city gasses up, and take it to Orlando if they want to and back, that the car gets parked here, picked up when they come to work, and saves us a small fortune. Nobody wanted to do that either. So occasionally you need to also look at some of the perks that people get who don't actually earn those perks. There, if you don't drive for the city, why do we give you a $3,600 car allowance? Because we can. Because they can. I had nothing to do with that. But when questioned, nobody wanted to give that up. You have to look at some of the other things that people get, regardless of whether they're city employees or sitting up here, that you have to question why. And so that's how the idea, I assume, of eventually of giving a raise to the city commission came up. 
to shut some of us up. I brought it up during budget time. I said, park the car, drive your car to the city, take our car when you're on the job, park our car. Couldn't get anybody to agree to that either. You know, there are things that need to change in the way this city is run. That's one of them. That costs us a small fortune to put the gas in, to insure it, and to basically see to it that somebody doesn't have, and I'm not talking police and fire, but I'm talking city employees, that's other than charter members who have that as a perk. That's a way of saving some money when people don't have to buy a second car because we've provided it to them. There's something wrong with that, too. That's all, and so I wanted you to understand, because okay. nobody will tell you, but I was sitting right there when I asked that question. And if you go back on the tape, you'll see exactly what I just said to you. Okay, but if I remember correctly, when the uh, issue of the car allowance was uh, for the commissioners was was offered, was offered um, there was a, we uh, Commissioner Simone suggested that the mileage should be put in there, that the commissioner should be put in there. But it took I don't months. Take it. Well, it took months, and some commissioners did not do it, and it took months for somebody to do it, and it finally it went away. So um, I think that for the the twelve percent that you got for this year. Okay, I didn't agree with it. I don't think anybody in Margate has ever gotten a 12% increase. I know me with Social Security have never received a 12% increase. So I don't think anybody else deserves it. Um, you want to get a 2%? Make that the one and only thing that you get. That's all anybody's asking for, assuming. And even then, but it's then, not a guarantee unless it's voted on during the budget time. Yeah, but what about if you decide later on that you're going to get another increase because I won't vote whatever. for whatever. Well, I that is I that never is, say anything on the record that I don't hold to. Well, I still think that 12% for this year is plenty. Um, uh, it's a public service, and I think it, was, it, wasn't it should this be. Year. It, it wasn't should be this year. This is what they're talking about for this year. There was nothing for this year. This year it was a 12% increase. No. Oh, it was 2016. Okay. We're working on the 2018, 2019. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, so, um, all right. So so then, um, as a public service, I think, person, I think you should be voting for the citizens, so the residents to uh, evaluate you and grant you your, your salaries, not for yourselves to give yourself the... Elsa, every time you come up, aren't you evaluating us? Every time no, you give your opinion, I am giving you, don't you my so? opinion. I, but I, am, I take I'm your opinion one. seriously. But I am only one, and they are only one. Who I will? If you take my opinion, then don't take this increase. That is. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So um, anyway, I think. If I, I think this is going to end up the same way it has ended up before, three to two. But thank you. Any other members of the public? So that I understand this correctly, this is still something that has to be voted on every year during budget time. Is that correct? And that's correct. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Commissioner Rizzo. Or, or wait, it wait. says... During the annual adoption of the city budget or any subsequent amendment there, too. Okay, true. When the budget's being discussed. Commissioner Rosano. Yeah, I, I just want to say this. To me, this is all about being fair. Everybody in the city gets it. You want to talk about a city like Weston? They only have nine employees in the whole city. That's what Google says. I just Google It's it. all contracted out. He's right. The city of Weston has nine employees. It says true. it right here. It's true. Everything else but is a contract. To be fair... We all receive a paycheck. We are city employees. I don't know where the myth was that we weren't city employees. We are city employees. If the whole city is getting it, like the vice mayor said, and it's available, why shouldn't we get it? It just doesn't really make sense. And it's not being greedy. It's just being fair. Now, there's certain other things in the city that commissioners get, which you guys don't know about. They get perks. They get benefits. They get travel expenses. Why don't you guys look into some of the travel expenses sometime and find out what's going on? I'll leave it at that. Thank you. 
I don't know where the market is used, so not to sell that much. I travel, I educate, I need a vote. We can do the vote now. Please call to make it home before 10. Now, you see, I got to tell you, if you're here to serve the public, the time you get home is irrelevant. You're here to listen to people and give them the opportunity at the only place really, we tell I, them. Really, I don't need a, a lecture. Really. And I don't need you to interrupt me. And you know what, Lee? All the huffing and the puffing is disrespectful to the public who sits there and the rest of us here, and you make it a habit. If you don't like something, I am clearly aware of how you go on social media and the things you wouldn't say to a person's face, you stick out there. So feel free to do so. From the day there was an election on, you have made your feelings and your disrespect from my colleagues up here very well known. Please call the roll. Commissioner Pyramid. No. Commissioner Simone. No. Commissioner Rosano. Yes. Vice Mayor Caggiano. Yes. Mayor Schwartz. Since this goes on at budget time and we have to vote again, yes. Is there anything else? Because I lost my phone. Oh, you, ha you have nothing further on your agenda. In that case, meeting adjourns. You can make it home. <laughs>